Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kevin Carpenter. I'm a volunteer here at CPPCon, and I'm here with Emery Berger, a professor, and we're going to talk to him today about his upcoming talk. He's having uh, Mesh Automatically Compacting Your C++ Applications Memory. Um, but first, Emery, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, let's see. Uh, so um, in my normal day job, I'm a professor at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, Massachusetts, uh, which is west of Boston. Um, this year, I've been on sabbatical at Microsoft Research, uh, which is where I am right now in my office here in Redmond. Uh, and that is just wrapping up. I'll be done with that. Um, my last day is the end of the month, and then I'll be headed back to Massachusetts and teaching. Nice. So last year, you got to spend more time in Washington, and this year, you get to actually fly out to go to the conference. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was, uh, it, was, uh, it, it was one of those things where I was like, I will be leaving and then coming back to Washington, but then it's like, oh, no, it's going to be somewhere else entirely, so that's fine. Change so, of place. Yeah, exactly. So I understand this isn't your first CPP con, but it is your first time presenting. So I'll ask the first question, what are you looking forward to coming back this year as a, as a conference goer? Oh, as a conference goer. So I really enjoyed it last year. Um, so I, I actually uh, you know, um, just happened to be here uh, we're kind of right around the corner from when it was happening and, uh, and you know, it was great timing. So I got to come out and, and, uh, and experience it. Uh, and I really liked it. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, it was great to talk to all the people who are developers and see a number of the talks and, uh, kind of, um, see the cutting edge of what's going on, um, in C++ community and so on. So I found it really interesting and that's why I decided it would be a good crowd to talk to. Excellent. And so I have to say, you know, looking at your credentials, it looks like you spent a decent portion of your time doing a lot of things in, I'll say, memory space. Um, you know, the couple programs that I've seen or, you know, other topics that you covered dealt directly with memory managers. So yeah. what is it that really excites you about this topic? Uh, so about the topic in general, about yeah. the stuff I'm going to talk about? Uh, the topic so, in general. So it's kind of funny. I mean, uh, I, in a weird way, I kind of fell into this topic. Uh, so when I started uh, working on my PhD at uh, the University of Texas, uh, I was actually interested in parallel and concurrent programming. And I ended up, for, for complicated reasons, writing a, uh, a Lisp compiler. Uh, and then I discovered that it didn't scale as we anticipated. And the problem turned out to be the memory allocator. Uh, so this is the, the standard Linux memory allocator, which kind of is essentially the same algorithm today. And, uh, and so I, I said, well, you know, there's got to be a better way to do this. Uh, I'll just go find the solution in some paper and then implement it. And so I went looking around and then I realized that there was no actual good solution. And I said, well, OK, uh, this problem is staring me in the face. I guess I better try to solve it. So that's what led to the genesis. Of, oh, that was the genesis of Horde, um, which is the scalable memory allocator uh, that, that eventually influenced the Mac OS X uh, memory allocator. That's excellent. And so, you know, I was looking through the description of your talk coming up, and I just recently started working with Redis at my own company. And so 39% memory savings. I, I have to say, I'm excited about your talk. So tell us a little bit about what you're looking forward to with your talk this year. Yeah, I mean, the topic, it's really, uh, it's really fun. Uh, it's been really a blast working on this particular thing. Um, the so so in short, C and C++ have this uh, perceived disadvantage uh, relative to languages like Java uh, in that they can't compact their memory, right? So if you have a C or C++ program and it calls malloc, uh, that object's address you can't mess with because somebody could have cached it somewhere. Uh, it could have been uh, somebody did pointer math insanity with it. There's a million things that could happen. And if you picked up the object and moved it, you know, you have to be able to figure out where the pointers are that point to it. Uh, and you can't really do that safely in C or C++. So this has just been seen as a, an impro. you know, that's it. Like, that's the deal. You just can't relocate memory in C or C++. And that's been the conventional wisdom really since uh, the inception of C and C++. I mean, really even before it, I mean, dating back to uh, things like Fortran. Um, so in any event, um, the uh, this this particular project, we show that that actually is just not true, that it's actually possible to do this through a kind of insane trickery 
uh, which leverages the fact that we have virtual memory and we can actually move things around in physical address space without disrupting the apparent apparent uh, memory addresses to the program. And it depends on some kind of cool algorithmic tricks uh, to make it efficient and to guarantee its effectiveness. And it all really worked out. Like it has really kind of beautiful theory behind it, uh, which is appealing academically, uh, but it also has really great practical results. So I'm hoping that um, you know the C++ programmers in the room uh, who care about space consumption, which hopefully is a lot, uh, will uh, will pick it up. Well, I can guarantee that most of the people I work with would <laughs> love space consumption to be minimized in their memory. So I'm sure at least a few of us will be there to watch it. I appreciate you giving me the time today, and I'm I look pleasure. forward to seeing you at the conference. Same. I uh, look forward to being there. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks. You too.